Hello. I'm Patrick Christopher here with What the Hawk. Cougar the Hawk, sex icon. Number. Boys. Boys, can, can we do this later? You can buy this today. Just for the low, low price of $99.99 or just three easy payments of $55.95. Oh, I love my mom. Excellent new product to sell you. Paper clips. Oh, it's it's time for something. Oh, we're getting the vibe right here. I got you. Welcome to What the Hog. I'm Danielle Cavalieri, and here's your host, Patrick Christopher. My mic fell off when I was doing the Ellen dance. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Patrick Christopher, and I'm with our lovely guest, Magic Robin. <laughs> Magic Robin. Did you like my little Ellen dance before? It was a lot to take in. <laughs> um, so, Magic Robin. No. Mm-hmm. Is Magic Robin? Is yeah, that? that's my that's my government name. You can use that. It's okay. okay. So, for those who don't know, Danielle, are you listening? Yeah, loud and clear. Oh, also, <laughs> this is Danielle. She's the new addition to the better edition. <laughs> I thought that should like soak in. You Take know. a second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, you are. The magic girl. Are we starting with the magic? Yes, That's we're starting okay. with the magic. So, okay. yeah, I used to be a part-time magician from ages like 8 to 13. So, <laughs> do we talk about that? We want to see the magic. Okay, I brought a bag of stuff. Are we going to just like go through it? Yes. Okay. I brought it in a Trader Joe's pickle bag, not sponsored. Okay, there's a lot to go That's through here. That's a nice here. bag. I like that bag. Thank you. It's one of my favorite tote bags. A lot to unpack here from my yes. childhood. Um... Is this from when you were eight? I acquired this over the years, so I think the hat probably is from when I was eight. If you want to wear that, you're more than welcome to. It was a lot of stuff. It kind of reminds me of like Abe Lincoln. Yeah. You can wear that. I look it's like really uh, a... <laughs> you look ridiculous. Yeah. The Monopoly man. Oh, it's a perfect fit, a perfect fit. Okay, I don't know if they can like see, but like basically I had all these like little things and I would like perform at birthday parties or just like for like my family or whatever. Am but I allowed to like go th like like am I allowed to say how the magic's done? Like Yeah. Okay. I think it's Am I breaking the illusion? No, it's okay. These are also like they're not great. Like I don't know why I really thought that this was like top tier magic there's, going on. There's a little pocket in here. Yeah, for, so you can hide like for the know, rabbit something in there. Or, actually, <coughs> I did used to have a stuffed rabbit I would put in there, yeah. Now Obviously, you have this collection of, uh, you know. There's more. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Your little uh, magic tricks. Now, do you believe in the occult? Do you believe in the supernatural? I mean, unrelated to magic, but yes, obviously. Who doesn't believe? Do you not believe in that sort of stuff? Ghosts, specifically? Yeah. Like at all? No. Ghosts or not. Why? No one has ever seen a ghost. That's no not one, true. No one has evidence of ghosts. No, people think they've seen ghosts. People think that they've seen ghosts. But there's no... I hope you see a ghost now. Like, I hope you're haunted. <sighs> thing you're is, like, you're cursing yourself by saying this, putting thing, it out there. Thing is, though, right? Mm -hmm. There's no solid evidence of ghosts. Like, every, but there's no solid evidence that there's not. But that, that, <laughs> doesn't, that, that doesn't mean that there is, though. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we can say the same thing about Bigfoot, you know? You also don't believe in Bigfoot? What kind of like joyless life do you lead? You believe in Bigfoot? I mean, why not believe in it? It might be real. See, do you I, believe in Mothman? I have my own theories Mothman. on Bigfoot, though. Yeah. <laughs> I have my own theories on Bigfoot. Okay. I think Bigfoot is like a person dressed. Up. I think it's a hairy homeless man living in the woods. That's that tall. Yes. I think he lived in the woods for a good chunk of time, you know, and kids mm -hmm. stumbled across him, mm -hmm. you know. And maybe he, maybe like he's been in isolation so long, right? He forgot how to like communicate with kids, so he just like roars at them, you know? Like. No. 
Okay, wait. You think <laughs> big? You okay, think? But speaking of Bigfoot, do you guys believe in brownies? Like the big good? Yeah. <laughs> No, that's where I draw the line. Bigfoot's real, but brownies aren't. So I, I believe in segues. We're going to play a segment of me and Patrick making brownies, actually. That was a flawless transition. Very natural. Very yeah, good segue. Actually, that's why I was added to the show. Thank you. Hey, everybody. It's me, Patrick, with... Danielle. Danielle, what are we doing today? We're going to try and bake brownies. I don't like that attitude, Danielle. We are going to bake brownies, and they are going to be... Super scrumptious. Hopefully. First, I think we should get instructions on how to do this, because I don't know how to do it. Google it. Okay. <laughs> okay, first butter. These are hotel butter packets. Sugar! Vanilla extract. You, you ever watch Binging with Babish, Danielle? You like Binging with Babish? You're going ahead. How do you know how many to use? You just throw them all in there. We're not them. using all this butter. Saucepan. Oh. Don't we have to preheat the oven? Chew. Uh, is that even working? Pull it over. Oh, yeah, take your time. It's still in my hand. I don't care. I scratched my nose and I have to wash my can we have a number count on how many times you have to wash your hands? Oh my god, why are you doing it like that? Oh my god, oh my god, why are you doing it like that? I have to make sure it's all consistent. You don't want any rats getting in here, you know? You know? That's enough, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Do you think that's too much salt? Here's our little egg. His name's. His name's. Ebert the egg. Do you think this is too much salt? That's fine. You should probably add a little Wait, I have to throw some behind me for good luck. <laughs> Looks pretty scrumptious to me now, does it? It's Eggthony. Oh, no. Choose Egg a different Thony. one. Hi there, my name's Eggthony. Oh, hi there, Eggthony. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I got a surprise for you, Eggthony. Oh, what's that surprise? Uh oh. <laughs> Should we put it in the microwave? No. No. -uh. There's the hair in it. It kind of is like meatloaf, though. Yum. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Ah, so good. Okay, well, that's how you make brownies. Scrum delicious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boy, isn't your mouth watering after watching that? Not really. The egg kind of turned me off from it, I'm going to be honest. That was a lot. The egg death. No, I thought they were delicious. Oh. No, she's talking about me drawing the faces on the eggs. Oh, no. And then <laughs> cracking them on camera. No. Did you get attached to any of the eggs? Did you get attached to... Not emotionally. Ebert, the egg? Not emotionally, Thanks, no. Egg <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was the other one? Benedict Arnold? Yeah, I thought of Benedict because yeah. I'm smart. Eggs Benedict. No, I got it. Oh, but I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny. I knew you would get it. <laughs> Anyways, we have Jenga here. Giant Jenga. J Jumbo Jenga. True. Do you want to start us off? All right. Oh. <laughs> 
All right. Um, we can't take from the top, top three. Top three, right? yeah. So from here down, you can take from. Oh. You gotta push oh. from the middle. Are we only allowed to touch the piece that we are? Uh, You're supposed to, but if oh. we don't want it to end immediately, maybe. That was a horrible. Yeah, that was a bad first move. Hang on. I'm gonna just. There we go. It's too big for me. I, ca I can't deal with it. Have you ever played a big Jenga before? I've Imagine. done I've done little Jenga. I've never <coughs> done. Uh, what about you, Robin? Have you ever done a big Jenga? I have. I've done Jenga bigger than this with like giant like plywood pieces. Oh. So pretty. Did that like hurt somebody? Yeah. <laughs> Magic Robin. Yeah, no, it's just fun for the game. Though, yeah, <laughs> so it's totally fine. Perfect. Why are you being so precarious with your uh, with your initial moves? We have to have a precarious. strong base. Mm. Patrick, I think it's cheating if you use two hands. I'm just gonna help because I don't want them to fall. Robin, that's also cheating. If I'm helping, no, the, the ghost is the ghost is helping me. Oh, I can't Casper? believe. Why are there so many fake ghost shows? If ghosts are real, how would we get a real ghost in the show? Truth. Listen, Go. I like Zach Baggins from Ghost Adventures. I don't even know what I've that never is. Heard of that yeah. either. You only That's know too Zach niche. These are more relevant, like Ghostbusters, Casper. Okay, wait, no. Okay. One Dan Aykroyd actually. Make like, your move. It's your oh. turn. When we're talking about ghosts, I'm not saying I believe in like the ghosts from like Ouija and stuff like that and like horror movies, but I'm saying I believe that like people's energy like stays after they die. So like cursed objects then. Shh, not cursed, but like sure. Like Annabelle the doll. Yes, I believe in Annabelle. Go here. I can I can get some bad juju from some items, you know, but like, you know. I Have just... you ever watched Buzzfeed Unsolved? No. Okay, well you'd be Shane and I'd be Ryan, because <laughs> yeah. Shane doesn't believe and Ryan does. Well, ooh. Shane Dawson. No. Oh. Two hands, cheater. One hand, Patrick. <laughs> What are you, the, ref the referee? Yeah, yeah, the referee of Jenga. Referee, oh, crap, sorry. this is going to topple over. Um, That's the whole point of Jenga. Did you know that Dan Aykroyd, <gasps> oh, after, he saw, after he showed his kids uh, Ghostbusters, right, his kids asked him, Daddy, are ghosts real? And he said, you know what, I had to tell them the truth. And he said, yes, ghosts are real. Careful. You're not doing the greatest job over there. Make this a good move. Don't let it fall yet. Come on. Are you like, are you like no, Dan? Patrick's going to lose the game. It's inevitable. No, I know. Are you like Dan Aykroyd? Like, will you tell your kids that ghosts are real? I mean, I wouldn't tell them they're not real. Who are you to say? I mean, I've never seen a ghost. I don't think anyone... I mean... I'm there scared. Was, there was this one girl in my middle school. She was <gasps> always like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that was, um, <laughs> great. Um, uh, I'm just really happy to tell him Patrick. <laughs> I gotta be completely honest, but um, while Patrick cleans that oh, up, oh please, that, oh please, Tanya. Okay. Oh well, please. While Patrick cleans that up, we're gonna move on to the on the street segment with Keith. God rest his soul. Thanks, Patrick. I'm here on the street to talk to people, see what they're doing, planning on celebrating 420 National Banana Day. Very exciting. So let's see what uh people are doing to celebrate. National Banana Day. What the hawk, man? What the hawk? What the hawk? Asking the real questions out here. Well, what's all, what's all this then? This is what the hawk. What the hawk? Yeah, exactly. I have three. He got us three to him. We do a late show okay. for campus. Yeah. Okay, late night with Hugo. How do we get on? How do you get on? Yeah. It's just a zip. You're in the segment right now. We're at P&G's Bar and Grill. You know, cooking up some steaks, getting a little lit. She looks great. She looks fantastic. Three, what the hawk? Big day this this uh, next week, next this, this week, whatever week. I don't have no sense of time, but uh, 420, right? 420. Everyone loves 420. It's National Banana Day. 420 is National Banana Day. 420, National Banana Day. 420, National Banana Day. That's why everyone celebrates, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Uh huh, for sure. Yeah. So what are you guys doing to celebrate National Banana Day? Just hanging out with the homies, you know. <laughs> With the, with the Do you think anyone has ever had sex in the Hugo like fursuit? I probably. Do you I guys? Think, I you think, think someone definitely has. Yeah, 100%. probably. Honestly, yeah. that one's got a definitely. real thing for Hugo. What's your favorite way to eat a banana? Bing bong. Peel and all. Peel and all. Peel and all. Wow, wow. that's great. Um, I like to peel from the bottom. Unpopular oh, from the opinion. Bottom. Okay. okay. That's how monkeys do it. Orangutan activities. <laughs> It's better when you go through the bottom because you get an what even heel. And you, you don't get so many of the, I don't know what those little strands are. You know, I like a 
good. Yeah, thank you. Banana Nutella sandwich. Yo, realistically, would you call a banana peel a shell? Keith, I think the big question that we need to ask you is what are you doing for Banana Day? Am I doing for Banana Day? Yeah. I told you earlier, I'm non I'm non um, practicing. I'm non practicing. I don't I don't like bananas. Huh? What kind of question is that? I feel, you know, this camera person, Kobe, needs to be fired. You know, what's your take on evolution? My take on evolution? Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Bullshit. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Evolution? Like, what are we, Pokemon? Keith, <clears throat> tell me about yourself. Tell me, um, what's going on today? What's going on today? I'm, I'm having a good day, you know? Out yeah. here, like, interviewing people. Yeah. Asking, yeah Wait, yeah. you're the interviewer? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, we got this all backwards yeah, no, right now, it. people. I hate to say well, it. Now, I'm I mean, supposed to be answering the questions. <laughs> oh, they're running! Should I chase? Yes! Yes! Come on! Come on! It's National Banana Day, you are. Look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! Phoebe! Wait! Wait! What? How are you celebrating National Banana Day? The cardboard! I need my lighting boy. And welcome back to What the Hawk with your host, Patrick Christopher. Woo! Are we gonna do that every time? Okay. Well, um, <laughs> yes. we're doing charades now. Woo! Woo! Put on your acting pants. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, am I starting? Okay. What's that? Okay. Hang on. Um. <laughs> Bird, eagle, hawk, falcon, hawk, Hugo the hawk. There we go. Okay. Great job. Nice. I have the card. Okay. Um. Donald B. Christian. <laughs> Old man. Ah! Heart attack. <laughs> oh, giving birth, having a baby, pregnant, see. Preg Good enough, being pregnant. Oh, okay. That was a lot. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Kay. Soup, clam chowder. <laughs> Food poisoning! <laughs> yeah. Nice! <laughs> well, I'm an actress or whatever. Am I allowed to make sounds? Just, yeah, it's fine. Me making the rules. Riding a horse, cowboy. <laughs> this feels inappropriate. That is horrendous, <laughs> and I wish we had never do that again. Um. <laughs> Cowgirl? That's not sensual. <laughs> not sensual. Oh, okay. That's um. so sensual, Danielle. <laughs> Am I, okay, just like. Hairdresser, barber. Barber, yeah. I love how you couldn't do it to your own hair, so you had to walk over to his. <laughs> a barber, I guess a barber could cut its own hair. Peeling a banana. Eating a banana. Genius check. Smart, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Scuba that snorkeling. Mm -hmm. Do scuba that deep sea diving. The first one. So scuba said, diving? Yes. Snorkeling. You said scuba and then you stopped oh. over and over. Scuba. Scuba. Oh, we're almost at the end. What the hell is this? <laughs> Cook. Brushing your teeth. <laughs> Dentist? You look, like you're, you look like you're in so much pain. Okay, um, can I have something else? These besides guys. This? Can I have something else besides this movement? Brush. How big is the toothbrush? They wrote brushing your teeth with a really girthy toothbrush. What? I don't okay. want to act it out anymore. Big toothbrush. Right. Big toothbrush well, is the. Do you know what having a big girthy toothbrush makes you want to do? I don't want to. Not know. brush your teeth. It makes you want to buy some pot. So, up next we have a commercial with Selling Pot. 
Have you ever had a tomato sauce filled hole in your life? Well, boy, do I have the solution for you. Well, boy, do I have the solution for you. I just said that. I, that was my line. Was it? No, it was my line. With the new BMX 2043 pot, you can now fix all of your tomato sauce filled holes in your life. We got uh, another pot. This is the GXH model. Yep. Look at that. That this is one, uh, beautiful. This one comes in with built in uh, surround in insulation. Sound. Oh, insulation? Insulation. Too? I thought it just had and a surround, surround sound. sound. No, it's got both. Well, this particular model is medicinal. Over here, we got the recreational. Now, that's what I'm Very talking about. Very similar. This was genuinely signed by One Direction. Harry. Liam, Harry, S Liam, Simon, Simon, yeah. Randy, Paula, Paula, yeah. Here at Pot Studios, we use our world-class family-owned design that dates back to 1357 to create our most efficient pots thus far. This pot can withstand just about anything. Hail, wind, rain, sleet, snow, hurricane, tsunami, whatever you throw at it, we got it. So come call now and get your pot today. That's uh, 555. Five, five. You got the next three numbers? One, one, one. I uh, said four, seven, uh, seven, seven. And uh, what's our website there, Gary? Pot.com. Pot.com. That's our slogan. Come get your pot. Come, come, come get on. up, get up, get up on out of here with that pot. Call in the next 10 seconds and you can get 5% off your very own pot. Buy it, buy it, buy it! It's also pretty good at causing pain to people. That's true. Now, Gary. Do you ever have a problem where you need to get rid of a dead body but you don't have the space in your pots? Oh, the new Meg Pot, only from Pot Studios. You can just get, get rid of these dead bodies real quick. Real quick. You get rid of them, you put them in the pot, and... Uh, Okay, that's not gonna fit, but we got a bigger pot coming soon. No one's turned in the process of making this commercial. Please try this at home with adult supervision or any kind of vision if possible. This product is known to cause food poisoning, constructive virus, bird flu, and lice. Pot Studios is not liable for any harm, damage, phone tolls, and beer viruses that may or may not have been caused by pot products. All rights reserved. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. Okay. <laughs> Well, I definitely want to give myself hot now. So welcome back to Hawk Studios. Welcome to Hawk Studios with your host, Patrick Christopher. Listen, listen, you have to forgive her. It's, it's only her first day. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> yikes. Yikes. Speaking of yikes, we have some mm -hmm. of the brown we've before. Mm -mm. Dig in. Come on. Uh, with bare hands. It's like, it's like... Brownies from McDonald's. You ever have McDonald's brownies? I don't think they're a week old usually. Yeah. Are we going at the same time? You go first. You go first. Oh my god. It's they're delicious. Don't even worry I'm keeping about. chivalry it's alive. It's so hard waiting. <laughs> it comes out as one piece. Can we just like... Wait. <laughs> the sound that made, you are not going to be able to hear it, but that was so foul. Okay. I got a nice big chunk. Grab a chunk. I'm not eating this by myself. But you, you touched it all over. I yeah. washed my hands before this. Uh, Don't be a germ freak. <laughs> if you fake take a bite and I take a real bite, okay. Ooh. It's actually not that bad. It kind of tastes like a dog treat. <laughs> like an You've organic. Had dog treats before? Organic ones, yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you think? That's really hard to chew. Listen, you, you're magic, but you know. I, don't, hey, I, don't I think, didn't make these. I don't think Mom, anything. Would you like to show the magic trick? With my brownie covered hands? Yeah. I'll do a basic one for you guys, yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Where is everything? Speaking okay. Of ghosts, you think Betty White's ever going to come back? I hope so. I love that woman with the burning passion. A gem. I okay. said we do a Golden Girls reunion. Her, B. Arthur, the other one. <laughs> The only magic trick I feel like would show up on camera is this one. It goes in the box, but you can't see it because it's a magic box, which proves ghosts are real. It's a ghost box. Patrick, you look like Don't try to figure out the magic. Assistant. Don't try to figure out the magic. Didn't even hear what I said. He does look like my assistant. On and off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. I'm not nearly sexy enough. Though. Yeah, no. <laughs> Magic. Yay, magic. <laughs> you did so good. The brownie sticking to this. No, like, song someone in half. You can't do that. 
Not with my, not with the materials oh. I brought with me. Very spur of the moment thing. Well, oh my right. God! She put the thing through the box. Yeah, I'm really happy we got to see some of Robin's magic today. Magic Robbie. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. That's Robin's new, <laughs> new name is Magic Robbie. So if you ever see her on the streets of New Palm, <laughs> be sure to only refer her as Magic Robbie. It's the only name I answer to. Yeah. Well, this has been a great. Banana Day episode. I hope everyone goes and gets a banana and enjoys the rest. You say banana. You say banana. Or you say banana. Don't mock me. Please. Like a minion. Oh please. That's not a catchphrase. <laughs> well, enjoy and thanks for watching. McDonald's will make it fat. They serve Big Macs. They serve quarter poppers. They will put pods on you. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll No, no dancing. Rock and roll McDonald's. I'm not doing the rope thing. Doing the rope thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the mic. That is so Every. It's so nice here for you.